embarrassing was its royal knockout? Have you ever seen anything like it in your life? Prince Edward and Princess Anne and Fergie jumping around inside costumes. Ugh. I mean, it was just such a doomed idea, wasn't it, from the beginning? Let's take the young royals and do something really wacky. <gasps> that, you know, you can see the writing on the wall, it's going to be a disaster, and it truly was. His Royal Highness, the tantalisingly eligible Prince Edward. Coaxing courage. The monarchy in the 80s was realising it had a bit of an image problem. I mean, they're, st they're still working on it now. Um, and they thought a good idea would be to get a bunch of minor royals together and, and to do it's a knockout. Four months before the event, Edward called me to a secret meeting and asked me to be involved with setting it up. It was the royal family, but not all of them. You could feel that disapproval coming through the whole thing. I know what royals weren't there, but the Queen certainly wasn't there. Prince Charles wasn't there. The royal it's a knockout um, featured four royals, uh, Prince Andrew, Fergie, Prince Edward and Princess Anne. Princess Diana wanted to do it and Edward wanted Diana to do it, but Prince Charles banned Diana from doing it. And you could feel them almost kind of just off camera going, <laughs> you're spoiling it! We're supposed to be proper! Everybody had been looking forward to it because, oh gosh, you know, the royals, you know, the high and mighty royals and they're going to be actually doing things that, you know, ordinary people are doing. And then you saw them and they were just a bunch of bloody hooray Henrys and Arian. Uh, 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 and Fergie, who at that point had been thought of as a breath of fresh air, was just another slony, arrogant idiot. You know, yo, 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 yo. Rubble, rubble. On the day, it went incredibly well, and it was a very hot day, but Prince Edward, for me, just made one mistake, and he didn't allow the press to mingle with any of the stars. They were all kept in a tent. At the end of the day, he went into the press tent, and he sat down and he went... Well, what do you think? There's been an, a tremendous team that have helped to put this together. And I've lost my voice. Are you pleased with the way things have gone, sir? Can I finish? He thought that they should be so grateful that His Royal Highness was turning up to entertain the masses. And I know the captains have enjoyed themselves. I only hope that you've enjoyed yourselves. Have you? Well, thanks for sounding so bloody enthusiastic. <laughs> what have you been doing in here all day? <laughs> have you been watching it? Yes. Yeah. What did you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> thanks. I thought it was great. Great. He's walked out. They were hot, they were hungry, they hadn't seen anything in the flesh, so they didn't give him any reaction, they just dissed him and he lost his temper. And that is the moment that is remembered of the whole event. He wanted the press to big him up and say how fabulous it had been, and it hadn't been fabulous. It had been embarrassing, it had been a monstrous carbuncle on the entire history of the royal family. Why don't you think we're good? Why aren't you excited? Well, I could think of a few reasons. I can't imagine the royal family ever agreeing to doing anything ever like that again.